This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. And now we are back with Miss Jerry Ellsworth, also from Technical Illusions, with the hardware side of Cast AR. Hi, thanks, Jerry. Thanks for having me on. I'm so happy that you're here. I haven't yeah. seen you in ages. It's I know. Great. It's been forever. I think last time I saw you was with the uh, the purse. The oh, purse the Nintendo did. purse. Yes, yeah. the Nintendo purse. Crazy inventions all the time. Oh, all the time. No, wait. It was the it was the bulb. The light bulb. Yeah. Yeah, the one that reads your brain waves. <laughs> so cool. I have a <laughs> pair of cat ears that read my brain waves. Oh, I, so I love those. The Neko Mimi ears. Yeah. yeah, they're exciting. Maybe I should wear those for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So we've heard about the software side of uh, the Cast AR, but I really wanted to get a feel of how the hardware works and how you got the idea for this. Um, I heard a little bit about how you found this reflective oh, yeah. product just sitting around somewhere. It was a, a total fluke running into this, this property. I was working on a near-to-eye display. It's a display that puts light directly into your eye. Mm -hmm. So I had a bench-mounted system that had a projector and a bunch of optics and a beam splitter. And I put the beam splitter in backwards so it was projecting out into the room instead of into my eye. And I was looking into this thing and like, I can't see anything, but off in the distance I could see this beautiful image. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? I tracked it down to this <laughs> retroreflective material. And then I discovered that it solves all of these issues that you have with near to eye displays. Like there's often issues fo folks have with a display so close to their eyes, they have eye strain, sometimes it yes. induces nausea. And by putting the, the image way out into the distance, projecting from the glasses out to the surface and bouncing it back, makes it a very comfortable experience, like looking at a monitor, because your eyes, sense. yeah, your eyes are converging at the right distance and focusing at the right distance at all times, no yeah. matter where you move around um, the surface. I actually tried the, um, one of the other products out there, uh, the Oculus Rift, oh, yeah. and when I went up some stairs in the video that I was testing it with, I got so sick. M my, I just felt nauseous when I went up the stairs. It was like vertigo in my brain and I had to take them off. So this fixes that problem. So the retroreflective material fixes kind of the eye strain problem, but another aspect of our hardware is a super accurate head tracking system. Yeah. So we, we made a sub-millimeter accurate head tracker that can track your head position throughout a full 3D volume, so you can move really? sideways, you can get in close, you can move backwards. And it's so accurate that if you move your head a couple millimeters to the side, the computer can render the correct video of a couple millimeters of movement, and you don't get this con confliction between inner ear movement right. and what you're seeing. So yeah. like when you're on a boat, for instance, people get ill because the horizon's moving, but it doesn't feel like you're moving and stuff and your inner ear has problems. And that's part of the problem with some of these other VR rigs is that they don't have a great tracking system. It could yeah. induce nausea. Yeah, that's happened with me before. Now, when I was testing this earlier... Um, so you're mic'd up. Do we want to move that? Or? Dude, I'm standing in lava. It's going to be difficult to move. Wow. That is so cool. I noticed that it, it only works with the reflective surface and you can you can only see things if you're wearing the glasses or if you're like directly behind somebody. Yeah. So it's it's directing light directly out? Yeah, so there's two projectors that project out to the surface, okay. a stereo image, and it bounces back. They're running at 120 hertz. Nice. Um, for pr production, we're going to 720p projectors. The one that you experienced oh, was standard def. Yeah. And, but it still looked great, right? Yeah, it Even still looked great. It was still that 3D image, and it was very clear. Everywhere you look where the material is, you get new pixels. So it seems like you have a display that's just like unlimited number of pixels right. out there, especially when you add the material. Um, we also developed a near-eye um, display adapter. You know, if you're accustomed to that kind of having a display close to your eyes, you can yes. click it onto the glasses. And there's a bunch of freeform optics inside of here that takes the projections, bounces them around, and directs it back to your eye. Ooh. So it is convertible. So you can do three different types of operations. So with this adapter, you can do the experience without the surface. Um, personally, I like oh, the surface fine. because you don't have any worries about it. I do too. Yeah. I, I'm envisioning myself sticking this the surface all over the yeah. room so that I have like a complete 360 degree video game that I can play. Yeah, so uh, along with the head tracker, we supply tracking squares which have infrared LEDs on them. They're just a little square that has an arrangement of LEDs. So what are those for? Those are what the glasses triangulate your head position. Okay. And so if you want to have a large volume of space where you can move around and you just put these tracking squares so the glasses always always can see them. Ah, There's okay. about a 110 degree field of view on our current prototypes. So as you move your head, you need to have these markers so that you can... Every degree. Yeah. Each other. Okay. We have a lot of other exciting peripherals that we made for it also. We like really think... Guy. Yeah. Cool. We think that board gaming is going to be huge with this. So 
you roll out the mat on your table, you have stereoscopic 3D images popping out of little characters. So we, we built an RFID grid that can go underneath the surface. And it has pickup coils every inch or so in here. Okay. And then we can measure the RF um, signal strength off of inexpensive, these are like five cent um, high tags. And oh, you yeah. put them down and with centimeter accuracy we can figure out where you're putting a figurine. So you slap one of these on the bottom of your figurine, put it down, and the computer can know where your figurine is. And you can play D&D type games. That's cool. You can put this on a yeah, card. Yeah, it's kind of like playing card games or a board game yeah. through VR. And we've also developed a high precision RFID base that mm -hmm. can go on miniatures and other things that gives you bi-directional communication from the figurine. So you can put buttons on it. So you can put it down Put it down, you can have like a several buttons on here, like attack mode oh, or defense cool. mode. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also envision, well, you can also send messages to this microcontroller on here. And so we see things like you could make uh, remote control cars that you send messages from Ooh. the computer and you could drive it around the surface. And since we're tracking the position, the computer will know where the car is, keep it from falling off the so table. So like the car knows where it is on the table? Yeah. And you can, <laughs> with the glasses, of course, you can render a terrain yeah. that your car's driving through. And it, it's kind of a fun um, oh, application. That's cool. um, our next generation of hardware yes. is 720p exactly. per eye. And that's mm -hmm. what all this is. Um, the prototypes you saw has this huge control box. It has yes. like eight chips in it, and <laughs> we were able to shrink it down to one FPGA chip that does all the vision um, for the head tracking, drives all the displays, does all the communication in the PC. So it's um, digital video in, HDMI, DVI, and then a USB connection out. Oh, wow. Um, and then 720p projection panels. These little guys are 720p. And... <laughs> What's exciting about this is all the work is done in this, this custom chip. Mm -hmm. So we're moving towards cell phone support. So you can hook it. We're looking really? at Android support. So wow. um, before now, there was no way to process image data on cell phones fast enough yes. through a USB connection. There's mm -hmm. just not a pipeline that big. Um, so we only send like 82, 72 bytes or something down. And uh, cell phones offloaded of all that work. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So say I want to be able to, you know, I'm going to support your Kickstarter yeah. and I get the glasses in. Which we just got, we just reached our funding goal today. Yes, but congratulations. It, yay. <laughs> yay. But it's not over yet. We, yes, it's not over. We, we set our goal to the point where Rick and I could ship product, but we don't have um, a lot of resources to do ergonomics, that's make so extra games and stuff. So we right. have new stretch goals that we've added. So cool. if we reach the next level, we're going to um, ship a D&D &D dungeon builder Ooh. that can use our magic wand. Um, I didn't talk about it. Yeah, that. what is the wand? The wand is essentially... A handle with one of the tracking cameras on it and an analog stick and a couple buttons. But you can also track your hand position in this 3D space. So, so can I like interact with things on the board? Exactly. Ooh. So if you have a rendered character, you can reach out and it's so precise that you can just touch the pixels that are being rendered there and you can click on them, you can move them around. That's so can, cool. Um, so the D&D Dungeon Builder, yes. um, it's, really <laughs> it's exciting because it works with both the wand and the RFID grid. So um, if you only have this, our, our package that has the wand, you can use it to digitize your D&D your character's position. You go click on it. Oh, and, but you can cool. play remotely with uh, other players with really? this. So wow. I put my figurine down. I click on it with the wand. Mm -hmm. An avatar shows up across the country with my friends I'm playing with. They put their figurines down. They might have the RFID grid. And it's just as easy as putting it down. It figures out that they've tapped down there. Oh, that's and then it fun. shows up at avat as avatars on my table. And then I can look around the table in 3D. I can move around. Yeah. And I see the right perspective. So I'll see the back side so of their So, for avatar. example, if you're wearing the glasses and I am, on your side, you're going to see his face. On my side, I'm, I'll be just seeing, you know, his sword and his back. Exactly. And that's the property of this material also, yeah. is that it's so directional. The light that hits it bounces directly back to each user. So if I'm looking at the surface, I'm projecting the stereo image out. It's coming back to me. Yeah. And then you would be wearing a pair of glasses. You'd be projecting your own here. image. And you, no, one, no one can see what we're seeing because it's all coming back to we're us. We're seeing completely different images from, well, from different angles. Yeah. Oh, and I should mention That's this so material fun. is really inexpensive, too. <laughs> it's, it's used for safety gear. They sew it onto safety equipment. And it's washable. Oh, and it's, 
in in bulk it's just a few dollars per square meter so so let's let's take these outside and find some of those bikers that are wearing this reflective material <laughs> project onto them project onto them <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so fun now where can people go to support the campaign and to get their okay. own okay so our project's called cast ar so you can okay. search kickstarter for that our company name is technical illusions okay. so you can find us at technicalillusions.com <laughs> Um, Excellent. There's and where can people find more about you? Uh, Wikipedia or Same just <laughs> Google. Or, awesome. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of projects out there if you want to take a okay. look at all my goofy projects that yeah, I do, like the light bulb thing so we're fun. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Jerry. Is there Thank anything you. else that you would like to inform us about oh, with your gosh. projects? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I forgot something, but uh, check out the Kickstarter and you'll see all Will those. Do. Oh yeah, I'm definitely planning on supporting it. I can't Thanks. wait. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jerry. It's thank a you. pleasure to have you over here again. And we'll be right back after a quick break. I know how it is working in IT. It means constantly jumping from one problem to the next and everything, of course, needs to be solved fast. Every minute counts. I mean, you can't waste your time juggling different tools and duplicating data entry. That's why I use GoToAssist. Let's copy and paste. It's from Citrix. They're the leader in remote support. And get this, you'll have all the tools you need in one nice little integrated cloud-based platform so you can work faster and more efficiently. Uh, see, GoToAssist includes three different support tools customized to your needs. Well, there's the service desk so you can log in, sit in, and track the resolution. There's GoToAssist monitoring to proactively identify issues before they become your boss calling you in a huge headache and of course remote support to provide live and unattended support to any PC Mac or mobile device from anywhere to resolve issues quickly I've been using them for years it has saved my bacon on more than one occasion so you can assist anyone sign up for your special 30-day free trial today visit go to assist.com click on the try it free button and use the promo code hack5 let's go to assist.com promo code HAK5 Welcome back to my favorite part of the show, the Technoless Photo of the Week. And this week, it is all about Jermaine, who sent us a photo of his Technolust, equipped with a Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV, a rubber ducky, and so much more, including his awesome laptop. Thank you so much for your support, Jermaine. I can obviously tell that you're a Hack Shop fan, and you can send your photos over to feedback at hack5.org if you want us to show them in future shows. Just put the subject line as Technolust so we can find them. Well, that about wraps up this week's episode of Hack Fi. Hi, how are you? Good. You just really like those portals, don't you? All the frames. All the frames. So anyway, the Hack Shop. Yes. I wanted to introduce our newest product. Oh, that's the place where they can support us directly. You yes. guys support directly every time you purchase from the Hack Shop. Keeps this thing going with the free education for the hack community. And it's awesome because you were going to mention this. <gasps> yeah, it's the so Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V. Do, 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 do. It has two antennas? So he can dance, he's like... I like to do this whenever yeah. I see him. There you go. Yeah! Yes. Mark, Mark V! Yeah! <laughs> Throw your horns up. Very exciting. So you can get your own Mark V over at hackshop.com. And also, of course, we value your feedback, so email us all the time, all your emails over at feedback at hack5.org. You can just set up a Gmail rule so that it just sends everything you get to feedback you at know, hack5.org. Why not? I don't think you should do Prism that. Prism at nsa.gov. Yeah, oh, and don't no. forget that you can find all the ways to follow <laughs> us over at hack5.org slash follow. That's where you can find the links to all the social networks and things of that nature to uh, find Yay! out where we're in your town doing crazy stuff. And I think that's about it for this week. Yes, that absolutely is. But tune in next week for a fantastic episode of your weekly dose of Techno Lust. My name is Shannon Morse. My name is Darren Kitchen. And remember to trust your Techno Lust. Pineapple! I roll natural 20s. She does that. Oh! Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yeah, it happens. <laughs>